everybody. Today's review is on this e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Foundation. I have this in the shade beige, and this sells for $8 on e.l.f.'s website. Kind of pricey where e.l.f.'s products are concerned. However, one thing to keep in mind with e.l.f.'s site is that they do often do um, like 50% off deals and things of that nature. So there are probably a lot of opportunities where you could get this for four bucks. The texture on this is really outstanding, and I know I've noted that with um, some of the other pressed mineral products from Elf. They're blushes, bronzers, eyeshadows that come in this pressed form. I feel like they've really nailed it with a soft, very creamy texture for a powder product. When you put a brush into it, it can get a little bit powdery at that point. Chances are you've experienced a powder where you've taken a brush and really had to scrub across the product to feel like you were picking up any powder. That's not the way this is. This is definitely a texture where you just kind of dab into the product and then you've got enough. The finish of this powder is what I would describe as slightly luminous. It's definitely not shimmery at all, but it has the most subtle sheen to it that I think takes it a step away from being a totally matte powder. It really reminds me of the finish of my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, also the IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation. When I'm using this product as a true foundation in itself, not just as a powder to top off another foundation, um, I feel like I get medium coverage out of it. I can build it up somewhat, but I'm really still seeing um, minor imperfections through it, freckles, things like that. It's definitely the kind of thing that I would want to already have a concealer on underneath before I put this on. And for my demo, that's exactly what I did. I used concealer on my under eye area and a little bit around my nose. Those are the two places where I pretty much always wear concealer. And then just going on one half of my face so you can kind of tell a difference. I went into this with my flat top brush from the e.l.f. Studio line, which I feel gives me the best coverage with powders. And I just dabbed over areas that I had already concealed so I didn't mess up that coverage and then buffed it in all over the rest of my face. And I think you can see, you know, the skin is definitely evened out a little bit more. It looks a little bit more perfected, but it's not total full coverage. And I do run into um, some staying power issues with this and pretty much any powder foundation that I use on its own. I never feel like they're really lasting as long as liquid foundations do. The way I actually prefer to use this product most is to top off a foundation. Just to use it lightly, I think it does have that beautiful finish. And I think if you've already taken care of your coverage concerns, just a light layer of it gives a really perfected look to the skin, I think, and a skin-like finish because it's not 100% matte. Now this powder is infused with vitamin E and it's said to be a hydrating powder. If you have especially oily skin, you're probably looking toward mattifying products anyway, but I don't think this would be best for someone who does have oil control issues. The closest drugstore comparison to this is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. This I really, really like, um, and I think they're super similar. Very similar in coverage, staying power, texture. This regularly costs about $9.99, so even if you don't get this on a sale, um, it's going to be a little cheaper. Comparable in coverage and finish to the IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination, except I feel like this is maybe a little bit better from the staying power perspective. This does come with a little puff. I do feel like I get the best coverage and application with a brush, so I don't really use this. Benefits of this product, uh, it's a beautiful texture. Also, I think this is a beautiful sort of topper type powder to foundations. I think in conjunction with the foundation, um, the whole coverage of the look is increased a little bit. The finish is really beautiful. I've been wearing it that way in multiple recent videos, and I've really liked it like that. However, used on its own, I really only achieve medium coverage at most. The staying power isn't great. And if you're looking for a truly mattifying powder, um, I won't say this gives you a shiny finish on the skin, but there is a subtle sheen going on here. But like I was saying, with the exception of the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, there aren't a lot of drugstore powders that have really nailed that buttery smooth texture. Um, and I do really like that about this product. So I hope this review was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.